Hello guys, welcome to my Project Zomboid LP. Um, I'm generally doing this because The Walking Dead, it seems like episode 2 is going to be a while, so this LP will just be filling in the gaps, because I've decided I do want to have two LPs in the go again, just so that people have different stuff to choose from. If they're not into Spyro, then they may be into Project Zombie Zomboid, and the people who don't like Project Zomboid may like Spyro, just so there's a bit of variety going on. Uh, this is the second time recording this, because the first time I lasted three hours. Because it put me in a house surrounded by zombies with no stairs to the bottom floor other than to drop down and break my leg. And I got completely annihilated. So we'll try this again. Um, it's quite a fun game, this. You've basically got to survive for as long as possible. You will die at some point. Um, <laughs> right, so I'm going to be a fire officer. Because right, he can use... I love the fire axe. If, I, if we manage to find one, that'd be great. Hopefully the game doesn't screw me over with my placement. It gives me a nice, safe house, preferably with an axe or a hammer, or, s or a baseball bat would be good as well. Okay. Why is there? Why does this person have a fridge in the living room? This is a good start. Batteries. Let's have. Oh no! Oh, you beauty! You beauty game! Baseball bats. Oh god. Uh, right, let's grab that. Uh, popcorn. We're basically just going to scavenge. Um, I'm not going to stay here the night. Because um, here is would not be a great place to stay. Uh, and I'll just... Well, basically, I'll show you the ropes and what you do. Oh god. Where am I? Anything in here? Ah, tablets. Gotta have me pills. But I may stay here the night. Only the night, though. Where the hell am I? I don't think I've ever spawned here before. Okay. Hmm. Never been here before. Spawned me in a... Oh, this is not good. It spawned me in the big city, hasn't it? Oh, you son of a... Son of a dildo. Well, I'll scavenge as much stuff as I can. But we actually, we need to get moving now, because I've decided I'm not staying here. I don't know where I am. I'm not staying here. Oh, this is a bathroom shop. Oh, you are kidding me! This ain't fair already. Okay, we need to get away from the city. Yeah, the general rule, middle of the city, not a good idea. As you would expect in a zombie apocalypse. Thing is, every game I've played of this previous has spawned me in the... Oh, God. Recoup. I may just have to just stay somewhere and hope for the best. Because I'm running out of time. Eat some bread. Unless I. Can... Oh god, don't spot me. Where in God's name am I? Oh god. And the banging. Yet yeah, noise makes a bit. Oh, you. Come here. I'm gonna box you in the head. Come on. Come on. Get a baseball back to the face. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's getting late now. I need to find somewhere to stay. Come on. Runner, fantastic. Uh, oh god, it's six o'clock. Right, come on. I think I'm heading the right way. I hope so, anyway. No, I'm not fighting him. We haven't. We haven't got time to fight. Yes, this is where we want. Okay. No zombies here. That is awesome. 
we generally don't want that where I was before that is gonna get overcrowded with zombies so quickly and I do not want to be anywhere near there I'm thinking this might be quite a good place to hold up maybe it's got two floors yeah I'm thinking here is gonna be good the only major problem is gonna be fortifying it I'm gonna need cloth for you can cover up windows which will basically stop zombies from seeing in uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be priority one I reckon this could be quite a good house we have to fortify these windows and fortify the back door but oh you beauty oh we have a fire axe this is amazing progress all right turn this light on okay we're just gonna check the house make sure that there aren't any nasties in here okay, nope don't want to do that ah cloth this is what we can make uh curtains out of or like things to cover it up uh, I don't need clothes wish there was some lights in here uh, oh, no zombies I thought maybe there might be get some painkillers this is a good start. This is a very good start. I've had much worse starts. Yeah, this is a mitt. We've got storage space and all sorts. No, I don't want to sweep yet. Um, so... Any zombies? Okay, no zombies. Uh, get that. Over encumbered. Uh, right, crafting. This is what we can do. We put sheets in here, and we can get some bandages, which we'll need. And then... Oh, we're a bit tired as well. Uh, we can now cover up these windows, which is going to be amazing. Uh, doot, doot, doot. And so this is going to be Fort John. This is going to be... No, don't... Don't close, open the wind. No! Lower the curtains. Okay, fine. Have your stinking kit. Why are none of you closing? See, this one understands. It understands that I'm trying to survive and not die horribly. Okay, so you're not gonna work. That's good to know. Um, so generally, I think, th was that banging? No, I think, oh, alright. Okay, we'll dump this in the fridge, because this stuff will go off after a while. Uh, and I'll put my canton light on so I can actually see what I'm doing. Um, and we'll put tin stuff in here. We'll get things organized. Organization is key to survival. You don't want to be having to mess through drawers for ages. Hello, Fire Axe. Oh, that's the point. Fill up our water bottle. That should have been, like, first on the agenda. Um, do we have a sink? We don't have a sink. Okay. We'll go upstairs, then. Where's my bathroom? I can't find my bathroom. Okay, there we go, and now a bedtime. First day, we, this was a lot better than the last day, that's for sure. Oh yeah, shut the door just in case zombies get in. Right, so today the plan is to go and scavenge. I'm going to go, actually I'm just going to dump a load of stuff in here that I don't need. In fact, I'm going to dump all of my medicine in the medicine cabinets. Antidepressants, don't need. Sleeping tablets, don't need. Better blockers, painkillers, uh, general boredom crap. Don't need you. Don't need nails. Don't need any of that baloney. Or that. Right. I probably should have organised that better thinking about it. God, I just fed you and you want feeding again. Right, so, open the door, oh, close the door, right, 
Where am I going to head? Oh, there's a lot of stuff in there. I think I'll loot here. Zombie, I haven't seen... Actually, actually, I know an even better thing. There's a wooden... There should be a hut down here, which will have some planks, nails, and it usually does anyway. Um, if we can get that... Oh, Survivor. At the moment, I'll leave them alone, but Survivors can be a bit... They can be very detrimental to your survival. Mainly because they like to run around firing shotguns at everybody. Oh, hammers, planks. Oh, I need to eat better. Uh, yeah, I'm well, I'm fed. Oh, this is going to take forever to walk back. This is one thing you want to avoid, is getting too much weight, because otherwise it take you forever to walk. And that could be the difference between life and death. This is a pretty good place to hold out. Um, the only issue being the like large amount of windows, which is going to be the problem at the place we're at if zombies come. Um, but these ten planks should help with fortifying a lot. In fact, I'm going to equip the hammer now, and then I can uh, get to fortifying. Generally, not. Uh, generally, we'll be taking steps to keep zombies out of the neighborhood because at the moment we'll be okay. I'd say the first week we'll be fine, and then, then we'll start to have issues. Now, the one problem is, is that fortifying makes noise. Our main issue is going to be these front windows. The side one. Not as much. Okay, then get two on there, and then majorly fortify the front door. We'll be using the back door from now on. Okie dokie, so our front door is pretty much set up. So that's that for today. Um, let's have a look in here. Oh ho 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 ho! Hello! Hello, get in my life! Where have you been? I have all of this. This is, this is good. This is very good. I am very pleased with progress right now. It's only a stone's throw away, so we can just, like, yep, have all this. We can get over encumbered and be like, yeah, I'm laughing. Generally, I'm just going to be scavenging for the first week or two, probably. Um, and then when things start to get a bit more dangerous, uh, then we'll start uh, being a bit more careful. Right, don't need to take this out. This is going to be canned food area. Or canned, just anything that is food or drink related. Actually, no, I'm going to take the drink out. I only want uh, food. Food, nope, your drink, canned food. I'll put the drink somewhere else. I need more old oh, crisps, they can go in there. Um. Is that all of it? Yes. Chuck the bread in the fridge. We generally want to eat the fridge stuff first because that's what's going to go off first. Because the fridge, the power goes out after a week or two weeks, I think it is. I just can't remember. There's just some buddy light switches around here. I don't like it being so dark at night. I take the nails, that, that, that. I use this purely for medicine. And bandages. Uh, this can be for drink. I'll put drink in here. So yeah, this is pretty. This is gonna be pretty organised. Uh, tissue. We don't need tissues. Um, they're not key to our survival, I'd say. Oh, we're getting a bit hungry. Um. Bow and then dump, 
dump all of that in there. Du, du, du. And we'll dump boredom stuff in here. And the nails and the hammer, why not?